everybody, it's me, May, and I really don't know how this video should go. I spent a good amount of time trying to decide whether to let you watch this in peace with piano music over it, or should I like obnoxiously narrate my life story in the background and tell you everything, you know, going on in my head, and I just, I still don't know what to do. So I decided to give you this intro, now you know how I sound like, now we can get started with the painting. Right, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing both, the music and the talking. As for now, let's get started. Today I'm gonna be painting a, well, lady in a satin dress with no head. I think that's what I'm gonna call this piece. It's a picture off of Pinterest. If anybody knows who the original model or photographer is, please do let me know. I'd love to give them credit because I tried my best to find their accounts, but I just couldn't. So, a method that I'm using today is I'm going to be establishing the dark values or the shadows of this painting first and then adding the lighter values. It's just the method that I always use and I honestly have no idea who taught me it or how I learned it. It's probably one of the millions of videos on the internet because, well, that's the only place I've ever learned art from. Which, by the way, gives me a reason to be as sucky as I want to today. So to all the artists watching this, you really have no right to judge. So let's talk about other stuff in life, stuff that aren't art related. Oh, I know. How about the fact that I haven't uploaded in a year before this video? <laughs> I mean, that's funny, right? No, but seriously, I'm gonna tell you why I feel like that happened. There's obviously nobody that's that busy to the point they can't even make one video to post on YouTube for a whole year if they wanted to, but I feel like the reason I didn't upload is because in my head the perfect video took like a week to plan and two to film and it had to either be aesthetic or funny or one of the many pathetic words on my list of words that define what a good video should be. But that's really just stupid and I should just be able to post whatever I think on here. So that's what's going to be happening from now onwards and I feel like, you know, since I figured out what I've like or enjoy doing which is painting now i'll be able to sort of get a more clear look into the future well, not that painting is my future i mean i'd love for it to be i'm sorry maybe i should just shut up hold on let me think of stuff to say as you listen to music and then i'll continue this voiceover maybe <laughs> been avoiding because I knew that if I started to talk about it that I would just never shut up. So I'm going to try to summarize it for you as much as possible. I'm going to be a high school senior next year. Yes, I know, surprising for some of you because I'm such a fetus. I supposedly leave for uni after that and since that's the case, I'm constantly thinking of how this break and the others I'll get throughout this year might just be my last vacations as a kid and my last periods of time that I get to enrich my skills in hobbies like art and playing instruments and writing, etc. It feels as if every artistic side to a person is something that they've been working on since they were kids, and I feel like I'm running out of time. I mean, I'm, I know I'm not. There's always time, but I've, like, had so many hobbies since I was little that I never really focused on one to excel in it. People who are amazing artists now have been drawing since they were little. People who right now have been reading or journaling and doing things that contribute to being a better writer since they were little. Musicians have been practicing instruments since they were little. Sorry to interrupt your speech there, but I just wanted to let you know that I have no idea where the footage is of me painting the hands and the shoulders, so you're just gonna have to live without having witnessed that. So uh, for the painting, I decided to not let May continue her speech and paint the background a pale army green color. 
The original background was really blurry and confusing, so I just did it one color. And then I was aiming for an ombre look that was like dark to light in a circle form, and that just didn't work. But you know what? That's fine, because you learn something new every day, and I learned to never try again. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is it. That's my video. Thank you guys so much if you reached this point of the video. I will see you guys. I have no idea when. We all know I can't make any promises considering my last video was a year ago, but I'm always active on Instagram if you, if you like me. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. I'll see you next time.